Hey friends, happy Saturday. It is about 6.45 a.m. and I am currently at the grocery store to do this week's WW Grocery Haul. I'm going to have quite a haul, but I have to be quick because my little Lola has a nail trim appointment at 8.45. So I need to get home, well I need to grocery shop, get home, unload, fill my grocery haul, put it all away, and be out the door by 8.30 a.m. So it is going to be a race to the finish, but we gotta get Lola's nails trimmed. And then my husband and I are going to spend the day together. We're gonna go out for breakfast or lunch. I'm not sure which one, um, because today is the day that I use my weeklies. And then we are gonna do some shopping for some new shoes for him. And then we're looking for a little trailer that we can pull behind our riding lawnmower to move things from one area of our yard to another. Because if you didn't know, we have almost three acres. So it is a lot of yard to move things around. And we we want to dig out some areas and move that dirt to other areas so it just makes logical sense for us to buy a little tow behind trailer so that is the plan of attack for today so if you want to see not only the groceries that I picked up for the week but I'm going to show you my entire meal plan including what I am planning to meal prep for this upcoming week then all you have to do is stay tuned So here is my grocery haul for this week. Everything is from Fred Meyer or Kroger, with the exception of one thing that I picked up at Costco yesterday that I wanted to show you. So let me show you everything that is in my grocery haul for the week, and then I will show you my meal plan and what is on my agenda for meal prep. First, I picked up another box of the organic natural chicken breasts. I really like these. The quality is outstanding, and there is no rib meat, so it is a true zero-point chicken. So I'm excited to grab another box of that, and that is for some recipes this week. I also grabbed some freeze-dried cinnamon apples. I count these as zero points because all that is in here is apples and cinnamon. That's it. So there is no reason to count this as points. I don't usually even eat the whole bag, but if you did, it's only 100 calories, which is about the same as a regular apple. So I picked up that just to have as a quick snack. I also grabbed some organic unsweetened applesauce for recipes. Two pounds of 93.7 lean ground turkey. This is for an upcoming recipe this next week, so I went ahead and grabbed two pounds. I also picked up some organic, same brand as the frozen chicken breast, the Simple Truth boneless skinless chicken tenders. I grabbed two packs because I'm going to be marinating these and having this as part of my lunch. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. So this should be enough for me for the week for lunches. I also grabbed a pound of black forest ham. This is for my husband's lunches as well as for an upcoming dinner recipe. Simple Truth Organic Tomato Paste. I love the tomato paste in a tube because it lasts so much longer. Once you open it, you just throw it into the fridge. So I grabbed that to not only have on hand, but also for an upcoming recipe. Quite a few canned goods here. A can of pineapple chunks. This too is for an upcoming recipe this next week. It is in pineapple juice, but I drain it. So it still remains zero smart points. A can of corn, which is for an upcoming side dish this next week. I grabbed three cans of the Healthy Request Campbell's Cream of Chicken. Now, this Healthy Request is actually less points than the 98% fat-free, and it tastes a lot better. It's creamier. It's richer. So I highly recommend the Healthy Request over the 98% fat-free. And you can see here that I picked up three cans. That is for an upcoming recipe. Also, I grabbed some no salt added petite diced tomatoes. This is also for an upcoming dinner recipe. And then I also picked up a can of cut green beans. This is for my dogs. They always get green beans with dinner. I picked up a big container of extra virgin olive oil spray from Simple Truth Organic. I've been really liking this natural cooking spray rather than those ones that are full of chemicals. So I've really been enjoying the avocado oil and the extra virgin olive oil. I also grabbed this for a recipe. These were on sale at Fred Meyer for 99 cents. This is the Prego Roasted Garlic Parmesan Alfredo. I'm not sure the points, it will be here on the screen, but it didn't look that bad and I thought this would be really good for an upcoming recipe. 
big box of Cheerios. This is for my husband, but they are WW friendly. If you're looking for a lower point cereal, Cheerios is a good option. Picked up another container of my favorite almond milk. This is the Almond Breeze Creamy Almond Cashew Milk. Love this milk. It is so good. It is thick, delicious. Yeah, my very, very favorite almond milk. Two more containers of the Too Good Vanilla Yogurt. I really, really enjoy this yogurt. Only two grams of sugar and only three carbs. So if you're looking for a low carb, low sugar yogurt, this yogurt is thick, delicious. I actually really, really like it. And then of course, per the use, I picked up Bat Free Ready Whip. I still have a little bit in my fridge, but I wanted to make sure that I did not run out. I also grabbed some light string cheese. Again, I'm upping my protein game in my snacks. So I was thinking that I could have this as a snack this next week, either with some yogurt or some baby carrots or something else that I'm gonna be showing you at the very end would pair really well with these cheese sticks for a snack. I grabbed some center cut bacon. I had a coupon for the Oscar Mayer brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this into the freezer. You can have bacon on WW if you stick with center cut. It is super low points and it is real bacon. So it is of course delicious. I also picked up a dozen of the Simple Truth eggs just to have on hand for the week. Some Italian breadcrumbs. I'm all out of breadcrumbs and I need these for an upcoming dinner recipe. I went ahead and just grabbed the Kroger brand because they were literally half the price of the regular brand and they have the exact same ingredients. So sometimes store brands are definitely the way to go. I also grabbed some more unbleached flour. I was completely out of regular flour. I only have the self-rising. So I picked that up just to replenish. I grabbed some organic frozen blueberries just to have on hand. There is a couple of smoothie recipes that I wanna try. So I'll be sharing those with you guys if they are a success. So I picked up some frozen blueberries for that. Quite a few frozen veggies. I grabbed the Riviera blend. I really like this one. It is green beans, wax beans, and baby carrots. Super good frozen veggie blend. This of course is my favorite broccoli. None of those stems or weird pieces. All florets, delicious, delicious. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some peas. I needed that for a recipe. And then whatever's left over can be a side dish. And mixed veggies, again, for a side this next week. I grabbed some diced ham. This is for my lunch meal prep. I cannot wait to share that recipe with you guys. Super excited for that. And here is what I wanted to show you. This is what I was thinking would pair really, really nicely with my light string cheese. And I got these at Costco. So this is the Country Archer brand. These are beef sticks and they are about that long. So I would say maybe four to five inches. Look at the calories. Five, 50 calories, five grams of protein, zero sugar. So that makes these beef sticks only one smart point. They are gluten-free. So, and paleo, by the way. Oh yeah, gluten-free. And they're also paleo. So if you follow either one of those plans, these are definitely a really good option. They are grass-fed uh, beef, no sugar, and absolute full real ingredients. So there's your ingredients in there. And I thought that these would be really good to pair with a string cheese for a very high protein, delicious snack. So cannot wait to have these beef sticks. And the rest of what I have to show you is produce. So I've got a big container of blueberries, two red peppers, this is for an upcoming recipe, a lemon and a lime, which is also for a recipe, one lone potato, which is for a dinner recipe. Grab these little packs, already prepackaged up snack packs of carrots. They were the same price as a bag, and I thought it saved me time and Ziploc bags to go ahead and buy them in these little snack packs. I also grabbed some mint. This is for a recipe. Two English cucumbers, again, for recipes. Two yellow onions, recipes. Green onion, recipe, and that is it. Now, I'm gonna show you my drinks that I picked up for the week. Fred Meyer did not have peaches, and I also want to grab some more Jarlsberg light shredded cheese or light cheese slices and fat-free feta. So I'm gonna make a quick run to Trader Joe's as well today. So let me show you the drinks that I picked up for the week. So this week for myself, I picked up some ruby red grapefruit seltzer water, zero calories, zero points, and they had their 24 pack of water on sale for $1.99, so I grabbed that as well. So now let's talk about our meal plan for the week. So of course, this is my Carriel meal planner. I absolutely 
positively love this meal planner. It is all inclusive, it is gorgeous. There are several tabs for you to use, resources, which is awesome. This is where you guys can write in favorite meal websites, blogs, recipes. So you could list out some of my recipes here. Also an inventory section for both your freezer, your spices, and also there is a pantry inventory. The tab I use the most, which is meal planning. They have week by week meal plans with a detachable grocery list. So you can see here is the way for you to track your meals for the week. And then you can just detach the grocery list. I use my detachable grocery list every single week. You can also plan out by the month, which I do like to use that as well. This is a great at the glance. So if I know that I'm making teriyaki chicken for dinner the night before, I can take a quick peek at this and know that I need to pull some chicken out of the freezer for the upcoming week's dinners or day's dinner. So love the monthly planner. There's a tab for gatherings if you're hosting a special event. And lastly, you have a tab here for notes where you can just take notes. And then in the back, which I like this feature a lot as well, there is a little pocket folder. This is typically where I keep my calendar of what videos I'm gonna be uploading. And then that way I have it quickly at a glance as part of my meal planner. So that's what I use that for. So let's go back and let's go over this week's meal plan. So we're gonna pop to the meal plan tab and go to this week's meal plan. So for this week, my meal plan always goes Saturday through Friday. So today is Saturday, we'll be going out for dinner. This is the day that I use my weekly, so I never plan a meal. Tomorrow, I'm going to be making chicken cordon blue roll-ups. Cannot wait for that. We're gonna have some rice and some vegetables. Monday night, uh, we're gonna be grilling some Greek turkey burgers with some roasted butternut squash. We'll be doing all of that on the barbecue. Tuesday, I'm gonna be making copycat Kentucky Fried Chicken Pot Pies. Cannot wait to share these recipes with you guys. You will be seeing all of these recipes at some point in upcoming videos. Wednesday is a leftovers day. Thursday, I'm going to be making jambalaya in my Instant Pot and we'll pair that with some veggies. Sounds so good. Friday, of course, is leftovers as well. And then on the back of my weekly planner is where I plan my meal prep for the week. So here's what's on my agenda. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be prepping some bacon cheddar egg bites, and I'm gonna pair that with some turkey sausage. So these are going to be copycat Starbucks air but, air, um, egg bites. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be having chicken tenders that I'm going to marinate, and then I'm going to be making some Hawaiian pasta salad, yum. And then I'm going to be making some one smart point, that's right, one smart point cupcakes. So you're gonna see all of this in this week's Meal Prep Monday. So that is what's on my meal plan for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. If you're interested, there is a link down in the description box that all you have to do is click on it and it'll save you 10%. So if you're looking for a meal planner, I highly, highly recommend the carry out. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Weekly Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the groceries that I picked up for the week, plus what is on my meal plan. You will be seeing all of these recipes in some upcoming videos, and of course, my meal prep on Mondays, which is always on this channel, Meal Prep Monday. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I shared with you today. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time that I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what is on your meal plan for the week and what of the recipes and meal prep that I showed you are you most excited to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.